Hey, in the next few minutes, I'll show you how to pre-select main products, add-ons, and order bumps on your order form for your customers. To do this, you'll modify the normal link to the order form so that when someone clicks on it, the products you specify will be automatically pre-selected. This makes sense especially with add-ons and even then only if you offer multiple add-ons. Of course, you have to set up these add-ons before we start. You can find out exactly how to do this in the video that's now linked in the top right hand corner. One last note before we begin, and this is an important one. What I'm about to explain in this video only works for the European reseller. So if a customer accesses your order form from the USA, Canada, New Zealand, or Australia, your pre-selections won't work. So if you're from the US, you can learn more about the reseller system in the video that's now linked in the top right hand corner. Let's get started. First of all, for all the products you want to pre-select, we need to set that the default quantity is zero and that the buyer can change the quantity of products. Let's start with the main product. To do this, go to Account, and then Products, and click on the pencil icon next to the main product. Scroll down to the default quantity window and make sure that zero is selected. Click on Save, and we're done here. Now switch to the Add-ons tab. For your main product, you need to make sure that you've selected one of the two Yes options here at the top. Click on save again, and we're done with the settings for the main product. So let's continue with the add-ons. The important thing to note is that it works exactly the same whether you display your add-on as a normal add-on or as an order bump. You can learn more about order bumps in the video that's now linked in the top right hand corner. Back to the topic. If you now scroll all the way down and click on the pencil icon next to one of your add-ons, your add-on settings will load. Two things are important here that zero is selected for default quantity, and that yes is set for buyer can change quantity. Once you've done this, click on the button below and check the same settings for your other add-ons. Now we can move on to step two, which is to modify your order form link. You can find this link by clicking on links at the top. Copy the link, and then switch back to the add-ons tab and scroll all the way to the bottom. Let's change the link here in the address bar. To do this, you need to add a get parameter at the end of the link, which you can use to pre-select the products. So add a question mark, then write quantity and an underscore and the product ID of the first product you want to pre-select. For example, let's say I want to send an order form link to a certain target group of mine with my main product and my second add-on product pre-selected. To do this, I first need to add a get parameter for my main product. So I copy the numbers here in the link that represent the product ID of the main product. And I also add an is equal sign and the quantity that should be preset. My main product, just like my add-ons, can only be purchased once. So I just enter one here. Now all I have to do is pre-select my second add-on. To do this, I insert an and sign instead of a question mark since the question mark only ever applies to the first get parameter, and continue in exactly the same way. I write quantity, underscore, and the product ID. And here is why it's worthwhile to go back to the add-on tab, as we can now see the product IDs of the different add-ons. So I write the product ID specific to it, found here in the product column, and enter one as the quantity again. Now let's test the link. I access it, and indeed the desired products, namely my main product and second add-on product, are already pre-selected. To recap, make sure that the default quantity is zero for all the products that you want to pre-select and that the buyer can easily change the quantity when making a purchase. Then you need to add the get parameters at the end of your order form link in the order I showed you before. After all this, you simply have to send the links to the desired target groups.